Hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? We're making pimento cheese tonight, the homemade version. Come right over here. We're going to use this beautiful gravy bowl that we've been dying to use. <laughs> and I'm going to put a whole jar of diced pimentos in it. Well, there you go. A lot of people drain them, and I'm like, why are you wasting all that good juice? Uh, we don't drain a lot of things. And I see a lot of, we save these little jars. They're handy to put a little bit of dressing in or something. We save them because they're glass. And, you know, we used to have glass mayonnaise jars and everything. You don't have any glass anymore. This right here is going to be the, this is going to get some of y'all, but you'll just have to get got. Because this is a little bit of sugar going in that juice and those pimentos. Say about a half a teaspoon. Going to put a shake shake of salt, not to make it salty, but to bring out that sweetness and all that other that's in there. And you just want to emulsify this up. And not only emulsify, you want to mash up these pimentos. Going to get everything in there all nice. Them's uh, diced. Them sliced ones are harder to do. You have to chop them. Yeah, these are diced, so... You want to mash them up or chop them up, whatever you, you want to get all that sugar emulsified. Blames out the flavors. It does. This is an important part. Don't skip this part. Get your, and this is mashing them down. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, but you can chop them if you feel better about chopping them. They're little to start with, though. Yeah, if you got the other ones, you'll have to chop them. Now, this we'll just is leave. strange watching you do the. We'll just leave that right in there, and I'm gonna try to use this handy dandy grater, and we're gonna see how well does it do. I've used it before, but it's been a minute. Maybe it's been two minutes. Might have been longer. I guess I can go back to the your way. You're not my way, Mama. You'll have to sing and dance. Oh, no, no. This goes right on here. I don't like to gray with a box grater or any of that stuff. I do all the time. You can count me out on that hot mess. Not a fan of you box grating. That's all we ever had. I still ain't a fan. <laughs> still ain't a fan. See how salty that cheese is. You think it's going to be salty, Mama? Everything's salty to me anyway. Now we've got clean hands going here. In fact, I've probably got almost chapped hands from as many times as I've washed hands. You know, hands. mine is on the back. Get mine is getting, I have to use some lotions. and uh, Folks, I want you all to see. I really do. But I've got to see, too. A lot of things we do on camera, you have to do upside down and backwards, I call it. Because, I guess I should have been getting that out of there. Williams think. Uh, we're trying to let you see, and then I've got to see. But it all comes right out. But I'll get it out quicker next step. Uh, now next you run. need to do some yeah. Belvedas because it's softer and it'll clog worse than that. And, and then the hard will push it through. That's right. Don't forget about your tea, Mama. I turned it off. So it's going to steep for nine minutes. We're making some y'all's tea. And I'm cooking. So we got all kinds of stuff going. How much stuff can you get going in one night? Well, me and Mama will show you if this was here. Because we can sure get it to go on, can't we? Yeah, you sure can. But I like to do that. Y'all noticed, if I got stuff to do, I just as soon just do it all in one big mess or one big time. I like to get it done while it's getting done. They know it's making up a mess three or four days in a row. Is there? No, I don't guess so. 
I used to do that with homework and stuff. I'd wait till. Last minute sometimes. Sometimes I need that pressure, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Now this is Velveeta. It's really soft. Really soft. I don't. If you're dealing cabbage or something like that with this thing, it's ideal. It's ideal. Cheese of any kind. In any kind of grater that I've it ever found, thought, froze. freeze it. That's your secret, Mama. It froze it. And that's what I didn't do was freeze it. Mm -hmm. As Mama said, the Velveeta is really soft. So you want to? I usually do some American Velveeta and then a more more American to push it through. Yeah. Under. Even on my box grater. Even on the it. box, yeah makes a difference. Yeah, I agree. That went through like a dream. Whoop! Don't move that pot. Just I'm turn not going to move it. I'm going to turn it off. Yeah. Or not off, down. Turn it down. Don't, don't. It's too big. I've got a huge pot over there. I'll show you. That's what she's got. Show them that pot, Mama. That's four big chicken breasts, but those were the biggest breasts. We found they were a <laughs> thick. I cut them up, and I'm just kind of cut them down and, and use them for cooked chicken. Because I like cooked chicken. I like to keep cooked chicken on hand. Plus, i got plans for some good cooked chicken. You know, if you get your craving something you want to eat, you know, what you want. I've never seen a kid like Cooked chicken like you did. I still love it. I know it, but as a kid, that's right. As a kid, I loved it. Mama likes fried chicken best. If I had to, if you told me, John, you can only have chicken one way from now on, I said, well, let's make it cooked. I like fried every once in a while, but cooked is my favorite. I'd say fried. Mama says she'd say fried. Are anybody surprised? Now this looks With salt and pepper on <laughs> This looks more aggravating than it is. And this will go right in the dishwasher, so I ain't worried about it clean up. Um but you have gotta keep that soft cheese going. And mama's right, if we'd have stuck this in the freezer for fifteen minutes, it would have it would have just come out as a dream. But well, you don't plan like I don't plan. I gotta tell you truthfully, I don't plan some things and I'm gonna get in trouble. Now, if you put the harder cheese through last, then that will um, clean out your grater, even if it's a box grater. Y'all try that. Hi, John and Mama. Hello there, Sherry. How are you? Hello from Jackson, Ohio, Pam. Mom, you look so much better. Cindy, we went to the doctor today. She is doing so much better. Everything's going good. Uh, we've not set the date yet for the heart cath. They do want her kidneys. I didn't realize how, which we're not, we've had heart caths before. Mama has, but we didn't really realize. The dye they give you for the heart cath is really hard on your kidneys and where mama's kidneys um the creatin was a little high even it's better but it's still a little higher than they really feel comfortable putting dye in there because the dye can cause you to go into kidney failure yeah i said are we sure we want to do it? she said well it's sort of just you know we have to it's a side effect of the procedure, and yeah, we we need to do the procedure. But the dye during the heart cath is pretty intense. That's why they're not doing it right now. But they are going to set the date before too long, hopefully before December. Uh, well, I mean, hopefully sometime early November, so she'll be better with all of it by December. And that's the goal for them now. She's still on the vest, 
which we knew that already, and she will be on the vest uh, for a while because they want you to be on the vest five weeks after the heart cath. So we already knew that going in. And they already said I had to be on it 90 days. Right. So we already knew all that. So, But they did say everything was looking good. She's, she bounced in there and they said, well, I can already tell you're feeling better. You're looking better. Um, I must have looked bad because they were all... They all told you how good you looked today, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I see all that came out of there. This little thing saves a lot of time. Now, here's the secret of the pimento cheese. Okay? If there's a secret anything about the way we make it, this would be it right here. You take this cheese, then you put... you. About half, half and half Velveeta, and I know Velveeta is not the best cheese. Can I know it's cheese food. Velveeta, and I'll stick it back in there. Mama, that did not tell me one thing. I thought, what are you wanting my fork? It's supposed to read my mind. Your mind, I, I, my glasses. And this is the secret. You put half Velveeta, half American, and then you don't drain that pimento. And you stir it in. What's the name of this? Pimento cheese. What do you want it to taste like? Pimento cheese. You don't want it to taste like mayonnaise. You don't want it to taste like um, anything else. You want it to be pimento cheese. How are you going to get it to taste that way? Make sure all the cheese has got pimento. A lot of people... We'll put their pimento cheese. Uh, I've even seen people put their cheese first, add a big glob of mayonnaise, add a drain jar of pimentos, and gently fold it in. That's not our recipe. We start out with the main dish, which is pimento. And then we... Now, you might not think that... About me, my coffee. You might not think, well, that would work. But the pimentos are first. And when you look in here... You see how that cheese is separating? It's like if, an oil. If um, you put your pimentos, your sugar, and a sprinkle of salt, it does something to the pimentos. Lightens them up or something. See how that looks like pimento cheese? And it will taste like pimento cheese, and there's not one drop of anything else in it. There's It's pimentos, sugar, a dash of salt, cheese. Pimento cheese. Um, and see how it looks like the finished product. So a lot of people get it in their head. Oh, you put your cheese and then you add a big bunch of mayonnaise and then you add a little jar of pimentos and then you stir it up. I'm gonna, you're going to be shocked, surprised, and amazed at just how little. I'm not going to use that anymore. Of course... You want, you're going to taste this. We've talked about this. This is not going into a dressing. There's not a lot of spices. You want to use a good mayonnaise. And to us, good mayonnaise means Dukes. And I'm going to put this much right here. Okay, now. And for I am going to stir that in because that may be all that we need. I know y'all have been making it with a lot more. And I know you probably think, oh, it takes more than that. I want to show you what it takes with us. That little bit is really going a long way, folks. And when I taste this in a minute, I'm going to taste pimento cheese. I love Duke's mayonnaise, but I don't want this to taste like Duke's mayonnaise. Now that is enough. That one big heaping tablespoon. This is good and loose. And it would be ready to put on the sandwich. Now, the only thing about that that may change is this. This cheese is sort of like pasta in the regard that it will soak up some of this liquid. I'm going to put this in a bowl. Tomorrow I'm going to check it. And it may be stiff. 
if it's stiffened and it needs I'll put maybe another half a tablespoon or another smidgen of mayonnaise stir that in then I'll let it set about 30 minutes for a serve that's pimento cheese <laughs> they put sugar already yes Brenda we did I put a good um, ta tablespoon of sugar in there I just took the sugar uh, dispenser and put in that as pimento started up put one dash of salt just like you would any uh, cake or anything you was making and um, one I'd say a pound of half a pound of, of che each cheese and that's what we ended up with and that's it right there now you can see it's not hard that's real loose um, I'll let mama taste it see how the cheese even though it was clumping up in that and all that once you put it in here it doesn't clump it's not it's just perfect to me now I'm on Pagan's it's perfect for pimento cheese mama I'll let you taste of it we'll taste it and we'll see what the verdict is mama's going to bring out a cracker for it it was here handy or I wouldn't have. Alright, let's give it a whirl. Whoa, that broke. Take the top. Oh. I can't have a whole one? No. <laughs> it's good right now. Verdict's in, folks. That's all we need to hear. And I'm going to agree with her. It's very good. This is my mama's recipe, folks. This is it. Mm. That's what summer dreams are made out of. <laughs> That's all we need. Now, that'll eat good tomorrow. And um, I'll bowl it up here in a minute. Put it in the refrigerator. Now, tomorrow, if I get it out, and it's firmed up too much I'll put just a little bit more mayonnaise and it's and a good listen. rule to let it sit a little bit before you put it in the refrigerator because that gets it all as you say married together mm -hmm. fused together but it tastes as great just like it is right now it's perfect now if you do that on a box grater it's gonna be the same if you do it in a food processor I've never done the food process, I really no. can't say, but in this grinder here, this is, in case you're wondering, this is Tupperware. Uh, we use this thing occasionally. Most time I use the chopper. Mama would have used the box boy because she says this is too hard to clean, but dishwasher. it ain't that hard to clean if you use a little silver box and uh, throw it in there and it'll be clean perfectly. You can put the whole thing in there. All right, Mama, I hear your boys are out there. Yeah, they barked a little. No, the um, weed eaters. Oh, the weed eaters. Mm -hmm. oh, you're hearing better, me because I can't hear it. Somebody's been talking. All right. Looks so yummy. Jenny, it is yummy. It's so easy. It really is. Love pimento cheese. Looks delicious. Thank you, Vicki Smith. This, somebody's going to ask the question. How big a jar was that? No. The small jar. Little small jar. Dog. Small jar. If we make more than this, we use a double jar. I always err on the side of more pimento, and we've never drained G, uh, pimento cheese. Now I used to years and years ago drained it. Till when I she was solo. Till I learned different. I've never drained it. I've no, always been. Um, that juice is flavored like the pimentos, and that's what makes that cheese so good. Remember what the name of the dish is. Pimento cheese. And another thing. The more juice, the less mayonnaise, mayonnaise you have to use. And it gives you the pimento taste. Start out with your pimento. Put your sugar. About a good heaping tablespoon would be enough. Put a dash of salt. Stir that in and mash those pimentos. If you use a bigger pimento, get your chopper out and give them a good chop. But... Like tonight, I just mashed them and that just brought forth that juice. Let it sit there about five minutes, three minutes while you're doing your cheese. 
marinate all your cheese and your pimentos juice together in the cheese it'll almost look like a finished product and then put a little mayonnaise and use your favorite mayonnaise with favorite taste because you're going to taste it that mayonnaise didn't make that big of transformation it's got a little pimento juice in it but it still tastes I can taste good mayonnaise I can taste the quality of the good mayonnaise so if you're making dressings a lot of times I'll tell y'all it don't matter what mayonnaise you use you get the cheaper get the store bought you're just needing that base because you're gonna add maybe hot pepper in it you're gonna add all these flavors you're gonna add dill you're gonna add this and that you never taste mayonnaise again once you stir it up this is one of those situations kind of like potato salad yeah. I want macaroni salad. I want potato salad. I want those to have good mayonnaise. Real good. Uh, even coleslaw. Now, if you use vinegar and a lot of stuff in it, you could get by with a cheaper mayonnaise. Uh, even in your potato salad. But if I can coleslaw, I turn it into a dressing because I put red wine vinegar, put sugar, salt, pepper. I lose my mayonnaise flavor but in a lot of salads you keep it and see this is sit here just another moment and you can already tell it's still and it won't thicken you won't you can't wait it out it'll take eight hours if it's going to thicken and it will a little and sometimes I stir it up the next day and go it's fine there's no you know as if it's, long as it's soft enough to not to tear your bread exactly and sometimes I say, oh, that's going to need another teaspoon of mayonnaise. Stir it in, it's done. It's done. But we've been making this for years. And as Andy Griffith says, people come from all over just to listen to Mama talk about making pimento. <laughs> In case you're wondering why I'm saying that, Andy Griffith told that uncle of his it was going to be his, going to marry Aunt B that people come from far and wide just to hear him talk about planting petunias <laughs> we don't own Andy Griffith by the way Facebook I'm not trying to take credit for that that's not original <laughs> alright folks that's what we got tonight um, I'm going to I'm cooking chicken we'll make something I don't know what that's for another night that's prep um, but those breasts were the big I had Three I told of them. you they look like turkey breasts. <laughs> I had three of them and I made six and then they were a little thick looking and I trimmed them in half them just to boil them. Uh, there looks like there's eight breasts over there but they're really not. They're big. But uh, that'll make making some other kind of meals this week because I always like to keep some cooked chicken and we're trying to eat a little healthier and cooked chicken is healthy and I just put a little butter in it and I put just a shake of salt and a shake of pepper. I think there's more than one shake of pepper because when I went over and stirred it, it was there might white been, pepper. There might have been two shakes of pepper. Yeah, I see that hand open up. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, we eating tonight. Pimento cheese, maybe? Yeah, I ain't really too awful hungry. We're probably not going to eat anything we tonight. Kinda, breakfast kind of late after When that. we go to the doctor. It messes it up. Everything's on a later schedule. We ate break. We wanted to go fasting today, so we ate breakfast at lunchtime. And then about 4 o'clock, Mama said, I'm going to have to have a little something to eat. And I said, well, go ahead and eat. That'll be perfectly fine. And she ate, so I thought, if she's going to eat, I'm going to eat me a... Um, I had saltines, it was here, saltines and a piece of bologna and cheese and some sweet pickles. Mm, and that you sounds, had a lot more than me. That sounds like a gourmet lunch to me. I love that. Bologna that and was cheese. our corn picking. Bologna and cheese, saltine crackers and a, and a sweet pickle. We had that when we picked in the cornfields. That's a gourmet meal, actually, Mom. Yeah. What did you eat for lunch? Oh. She can't remember. Oh, and it's talking about my potassium, so I ate a banana, which is very oh. rare for me. But your potassium is pretty good, so yeah, you so. want to keep it there. Yeah. It's All right. Still a little low. And of course, I had coffee. I didn't have coffee. 
Mm-mm-mm. I had ice water. I had oh, water. and I had a cup of ice cube, ice crushed ice. Cup of ice cube, she said. Crushed ice, not cube. Crushed ice. Okay, that you can have that. That sounds good too. All right, anybody got anything else? Hey, John, how about making Mama some chicken enchiladas with white cream sauce? Yes, Jan, that would be good. And I tell you what, would be even better with it would be a little bit of chicken and spinach and white sauce. Love that. We just had that. Yes, we're going to have it more often. That is a good idea. Chicken enchiladas would be good. Oh, yes, John, you're such a little bird. Such a little bird. What's a little bird? Uh, oh yes, John, you are such a little bird. I don't know what did I say something? A little bird. I don't know what that one's for, Susan, but I, I it sounds familiar. Mama told on you like fell out. Uh, what would you tell on me? What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> Plus the pimento and the mayonnaise and the salt and the pepper, garlic powder. Cayenne pepper. Ooh, she makes it one four teaspoon of each. Andre, is that your recipe for pimento cheese? Uh, That's got a lot. Garlic powder. Uh, good night, John and Mama. Good night, Gina. Good night. Love pimento cheese, huh, John and Mama? Love you both. From Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham. Hey, Karen. That's Karen. Hi, from right Texas. Now. Hey, Janice from Texas. Hey, Judy. Rebecca says we make pimento cheese every couple of months. So yummy. Rebecca, we used to do it more often, but I'm going to tell you, we have really slacked on it because I don't know why. Do you, Mom? No. We just didn't this year. I made it one time. You fix that chicken and spinach so much we ain't got time to eat pimento Please. <laughs> well, I, I do have some meat in there. I'm probably going to whoop up a meatloaf. Oh, I forgot about that meat. I may even make it tonight. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably make it tomorrow night. Um, and I did clear all that with the doctor. I said, can she have a little red meat? And We've eaten a lot of chicken and fish. And she said, yes, you can have a little. Uh, all things in moderation. I even asked her about the salt. I said, can we have a, a sprinkle of salt every now and then? And she said, you can have 1,600... 1,500. 1,600... Yeah. Whatever it is. A day. A day. Some grams. So what inches? If I was normal, I could have 2,300. If, you was, if you're in a normal condition, you have 23. Mama's not, so she said she don't need over 16. So we at least got some scales to go on. So we know what we're shooting for. We were shooting for zero with a sprinkle here and a sprinkle there. So I can measure it now. I just now dropped some over here. It's okay. Good evening. I love crushed ice, Mama. Kendra, she does too. That refrigerator will crush it and make it really... Uh, it's not even like... Uh, I bet you don't eat it like me. I turned on my electric blanket, got good and warm, got my little glass of crushed ice. And I ate it. Do you eat it with a spoon? No, I just shake it out. It's in she that shakes. little narrow, round shortcut. This refrigerator, it makes it almost like a for an icy or something. It gave me a one whole cube. It must have been down there first. Yeah, but when it crushes it, it almost yeah. powders and. You can eat it really good. What I like to do is put cubes in my cup, then I'll. Finish the top off with a little bit of crush, then pour something over. She said, "Not drink, drink enough, but not drink too much water." It, I'm telling you what, it's like being a chemist here. <laughs> Only so many grams of sh- this, and we got to watch your sugar, and you got to watch your salt. You can have so many ounces of fluid, but drink plenty. How, how can you do that? Mama said, "Can I have zero pop? He won't let me have none." <laughs> I said, Mama, you've been drinking it by the two liter. No, I have not. <laughs> and the doctor laughs at us because she thinks we're a little bit crazy. And she said, yes, that counts in your liquid intake for the total. But and you can have total. zero pop and you can have water. 
and coffee and tea. All those are okay, she said. And she looked at me and she said, and you let her have a little pop. <laughs> She's been drinking a lot of little pops every once in a while. I've not been depriving her. I've not done near what I used to do. I've not been depriving you of nothing except salt. Yeah, and you're not allowed to talk about it, hardly. No, we don't talk about it, because there ain't no sense to sit around talking about how much we miss it and everything we what eat. What did that nurse say today? She wasn't going to be negative or something or down. Right, she wasn't going to be one of them people who's negative and gripes all the time. Yeah, I thought, well, I need to do that better. I looked over at Mama when she said it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mama don't ever grab. Mama's the easiest going person you'll ever run into. But she does like her salt a little bit. Fried salt. Fried salt. We told the doctor that and she laughed and she said a lot of people like Fried food salt. for the salt and they don't care for the food. I medicine. said I've eaten potatoes all my life and they've been delicious till these we didn't have salt on them. She but, said put you a little on them. She did follow up by saying it, but they were fried to perfection. Yeah, they were. They were I was fried. so proud. Because she were. told me the other day, she said, these are the worst potatoes I've ever ate in my life. Kind of hurt my feelings. You fried them wonderful. It was I just a lack of salt. It didn't hurt my feelings. Let's take one more look at the star of the show. Because That's I want... <laughs> I want y'all to see this. Once you let it set, when you let it set about 15 minutes before you refrigerate it, let's see all that cheese and all that stuff is just blended together perfectly. And that's what color it should look like. Mama, don't answer it just yet. Hold on okay. two seconds. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. I'll have a wonderful night. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a blessed night. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow night, okay? Bye. And who knows, we might cook something. Bye-bye. <laughs>